guys, what's up? Sherry here from No Effects Giving Crew. Divine Feminine to this week's begin reading for May. Sorry if those birds are too loud. Um, May the 14th until the 21st. <laughs> wow, they really have a lot to say. Okay, so I'm using the Call It Baron Reed um, Good Tarot and I'm going to do a split yin yang. So that's how you feel about yourself, how you feel about the masculine, how you feel about the relationship, what you fear, uh, what you want, and what will be, and this will be your overall energy, the six of wands. I'm just going to see if this is in reverse. Okay, so yeah, it is in reverse. Um, I don't think this deck is meant to be read in reverse. Let me just double check. So the Six of Wands um, is movement forward. It's feeling inspired. People are cheering you on. If you are the rock star. And so it's in reverse. Okay, so stepping into the limelight, being an enlightened influencer. So a generously model, a generously model with transformation so that others might be inspired. I put my light atop a hill so it can shine forth, helping others to find their way. I remain aware of shadows and people who have trouble basking in the warmth um, of the warm light of higher awareness. Okay, so right away it's kind of, you know, pointing the fact that the high priest, that illuminated one, was a major theme in the twin flame reading, and you're holding that energy. You're not allowing negativity to, to, to bother you. You're reflecting that. So it's time to renew my trust that I am contributing to the highest good of all in my own unique way. So it's in reverse. So how you feel, you know, the, the next, for the next week is maybe feeling stuck. Um, not, you know, feeling like you're not influencing others, that you're not the light worker. Feeling a challenge, you know. Um, so the energy would be to turn that and to turn that around, to be grateful for all that you have, the support that you have, the love that you have, and you know the major, the, the final message uh, from the universe was for you to look after yourself, to let go of control. You can't change anything, you know. So allow things to happen as they should. And that's what the masculine is doing. He's slowing down. He's taking one thing, you know, one step at a time. So how do you feel about yourself is the three of fire, three of wands. So again, the sense of movement. Um, the three of wands is getting a thumbs up from the universe, right? So let me just look at that as well. So three of fire, how you feel about yourself. Okay, so expansion of opportunities, the fullness of creativity, achievement. I am the, on the right path towards my success. I have an abundance of opportunities before me. I need to trust myself, for I can make good choices for myself and co-create situations and relationships that are in harmony with my heart's desire. Okay, so you're being drawn towards your heart's desire. You feel that things are starting to... I just want to reverse this to remember that there is a blockage there. Um, so in terms of yourself, you feel a momentum, you feel drawn to the four of wands, right? 
which is a confirmation of the twin flame connection. Uh, yeah, so let's continue on here. Let's see what the rest of the reading has to say. So how do you feel about the masculine six of pentacles? So the six of pentacles is openness, sharing, giving of yourself, sh you know, sharing your wealth with another person. So I'm just going to read the top part. So it says unexpected resources, happy surprises, generosity. Um, so what you send out comes back to you. So in terms of the relationship, um, we got purity here, the white deer, you know, the, this is definitely a very, uh, a masculine deer here with the antlers. And so you, you see him as being strong, stable, grounded, and possibly open. The extended reading will definitely clarify that clarify that. Okay, so uh, how do you feel about the relationship? I'm really having a hard time talking today. Oh, wow, the Two of Cups. It showed up a couple of times in the Twin Flame reading. It's also showing up in the future for the masculine. So how you feel about the relationship is you see that your ma masculine as your Twin Flame, as your mirror. You, on a 5D level, you feel him. Uh, so this is the relationship, how you view the relationship. So what I'm seeing here is momentum movement towards that connection and that momentum is also seen on the masculine side, being drawn. Yeah, I almost want to turn this back around again. Uplifting energy. Okay, so what do you fear? The Queen of Swords. So it could represent an air sign, but it, it could represent wanting to say something and you're afraid that what you have to say might hurt um, your masculine or somebody maybe, you know, this is the qu uh, Queen of Ice, right? Very cold. She's not ruled by her emotions. There's an owl here who's very wise. So mental clarity. But in this card, there is a very gentle feeling that is coming from her. So you fear saying what you need to say. You, and maybe that's where that, why that energy is turned upside down. Um, maybe you feel there's no movement with the masculine. You've been waiting. Okay, so what do you want? The hermit. So what I'm seeing here is a closed door. So you want to retreat. You want to be alone. You, you're finding solace in solitude. Okay, let me just read that there. All right, so time out. Sometimes it's necessary to take time out for regrouping and introspection. This is a temporary experience, but one that is necessary for my growth. When I step back, retreat, regroup, and renew, I have clear perspective on everything in my life. Okay, so I am reading so much. I didn't read this much for the masculine reading, but I feel there's more clarity that is needed. So maybe you are the one that is cutting yourself off right and maybe you're feeling like you're too cold but you seek solitude you want to find yourself or rediscover yourself and so what will be is call judgment you will hear the calling the answers will come to you there will be illumination um, You know, and this is also reviewing your life and realizing that you can create a new reality, one that's more in line with yourself, right? So I feel everything coming in to alignment. Okay, so let me pull one card from Call It Ben Reed. So this will be a final message from the universe. Messages do you have for the feminine? Stop. 
Treasure Island. Nice. So this is abundance flowing towards you. I, I'm hearing, you know, have no fear. Um, but remember that in the Twin Flame reading, one of the messages as the final message from the universe was to create boundaries. You know, don't allow negative energy to affect you. Look after yourself. Put yourself first. Okay, so the law of attraction, bringing dreams into fruition, the result of positive thinking made manifest, abundance appearing as if from nowhere, financial gains and sharing of good fortune. So yeah, that's that abundance flowing back into your life. So the relationship message, your relationship is a treasure, um, providing even more than you need, but you may not see that right now, no matter how long you've been together. You and your partner are always discovering hidden gems about yourself and each other. Now is a time of discovery. It's as if everything is in sync. There's that synchronicity again, and being in sync, being in harmony. And everything is new again. Romance blooms and love is in the air. You can be assured that this partnership will bring you great gifts and valuable lessons. Keep your heart open. The message of this card is to celebrate love and what it teaches you. So continue to be open. And as a result, that love will flow back into your life. Right? Have no fear. Everything will work out the way it's supposed to and that energy will flow back to you. All right, so let's do the extended reading. All right, I will see you in a moment. Remember to like, share, subscribe, and comment. All right, cheers.